can just anyone become an Excel formula superman? Well, if you look into your work organizations, there are chances that you have one or two persons that you look to as gurus in Excel. And people from different units come to that person and uh, to resolve problems. You see that. But the question is, why can't just everyone be? Why can't anyone who wants to be, be a, an Excel superman? Well, we're going to look at things that would help us to see what this problem uh, really is. So we're going to look at the mental blocks that hinder mastery of Excel function implementation. Why is it that some people find it difficult to become masters in using Excel functions? This is what we're actually uh, trying to look at. And uh, we find out that by carrying out um, uh, your work in Excel, we have these three situations that face people who uh, have no mastery in using Excel, especially Excel functions. For example, you might find it difficult to learn it. You're, you're doing your best to learn it, but you're finding it difficult uh, uh, to, to learn it. And then you still have uh, these situations where, where you have learned it, yes, you have attended some trainings, but it's um, a little difficult for you to remember what you have learned and then put it into work. So what happens most of the time is that you're calling for help and, uh, 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 to do the work. You call for help and certainly you would get help either reaching out to somebody online or reaching out to a coworker, you could get help. But we want to look at what things can we do to avoid these three situations. So if we go to if we go to the first one, we find out that uh, the first one is fixation to get the work done and just to get that work done. What I'm trying to say is that there are a lot of people that want Excel to do the work, and after doing the work, they don't want to think about how that work gets done. Let me show you what I mean. So this is what I mean. So you see them, they come, they, they want to start a tax, they ask how would they do it, they know that they are going to use Excel. They're doing all of this right. And then in implementation, because they don't know, they ask who will do it. And who would do it, they think, um, let me outsource it, which is a way they can get it done. Or they want to use assistance from somebody who can, and they achieve the task. What they don't do, what they don't do most of the time, is that they do not, they do not do this. They don't want to learn after implementation of it because the job is already done. You might remember persons who would say, oh, I need a template to do this task. I need a template to do this work because they feel that when they just get the template, the formulas and everything are there. And so all they need to do, all they need to do is, is just put in the numbers, put in the data, and then they, they, they have the work done. If you have that kind of mentality, it's not going to help. So what I recommend uh, individuals to do is to do exactly what you have here. And if you don't understand it, Google your friend. So you can always go to Google and type in the function and possibly the problem you're trying to solve. And I can assure you that you can get answers. I understand very well that most of us um, are not very good in querying the Google, uh, Google search. I would advise that you go into the internet and or YouTube, look for a, 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 a tutorial that teaches of how to query Google. It's important that you do that because it's going to help you a lot. A lot of people are not doing the right thing, so they are not getting the right answers. But if you can do that, I can assure you that 90% of the time, you're going to get the right answers. And if you think that uh, uh, there are gurus in Excel, I can tell you that most of them are using just that 
in order to become uh, good. Now, the next one is they have this mindset of one size fits all approach to working with uh, functions and uh, formulas. What do I mean by this? You see, um, uh, a lot of persons uh, feel that if I've gone to this training and I learned that this formula is implemented in just this way, then that's the only way I can implement the formula. If there are any changes to my problem, I, I, I call for help because I cannot uh, resolve it. Here you have two tables. The tables contain almost the same information except for bank accounts. But uh, somebody may be used to working with uh, uh, table one. He wants his data to come in as table one, and then he can work with it because that's how he's trained to do it. So one day, maybe because of a change of staff or from another institution, he gets table two and he says, oh, sorry, I cannot handle this at all. You get it. But it is necessary for you to understand that same formula may not work in all kinds of situations. So one size does not fit all when it comes to Excel functions. Because what if there is a change in what you, what you have to work on? So you need a different mindset to be able to take care of that situation. And that takes us to the next one. Understanding in holes and not in parts. The previous problem comes up because you have understood how to solve a problem in whole. You have not taken it into parts to understand how the parts really work. So when we have this kind of mentality, it's going to affect, it's going to affect how uh, we understand Excel and how we resolve uh, uh, problems related to Excel formulas and function. Now, what am I trying to talk about? So it's important for you to understand how you implement a function and uh, 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 what, what, what are the necessary things that helps you to implement that function. It's also important for you to understand what are the inputs that go into a function and the different ways you can bring these inputs into a function. So if you ask the questions like, what are the inputs? Why those inputs are coming in? Where do you put the inputs? How does it all work? If you can answer all of these questions, then you have understood its impacts and not in whole. So an example is that you're implementing the VLOOKUP function. You've seen how it is used, but I can tell you there are about five different what ifs that would happen and it will show you off if you only understand just how to implement it one way. So we need to ask ourselves these questions when we do that. Now, I don't want you to be confused with this that you see here. Um, actually, uh, uh, this is trying to explain how you use the index and the match function as a substitute for VLOOKUP. A lot of people feel this is advanced, it's something uh, uh, the beginner user cannot do. But I can tell you uh, categorically that uh, if you understand these two functions, it's easier to implement, simpler to implement, than even your VLOOKUP function. I mean, for a beginner anyway, you see. And so a lot of people tend to use this instead of using the other. But in the course of our course, we would delve deep into this and understand exactly uh, what is happening. Because here I'm trying to show you two different scenarios where you would need, where you would need to do something uh, dif different. Because here you have the index function and there are situations that will call for you to impute a role using the match function, using the match function. So impute a role in here. And then there are situations where you have to impute a column, you see, using the match function. So these are different situations that if you understand where do inputs go into, how does the whole thing work, 
then you'll find it very easy for you to handle uh, 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 these uh, this, uh, issues when you're implementing function. Lastly, it is that Excel is for IT people and engineers. A lot of people have this, like I can remember my early days using Excel. Uh, after solving the problem, you see them asking, ah, did you do computer science? Did you do anything related to programming and all of that? And I look at them and say, why do you think Excel is for the sciences? You see that. Now, one thing that proves it is the number of registrations uh, we had for this training. And I'll show you this. As at the time I picked up data, this is what I had. We had a lot of finance people uh, registering for this uh, training. And then you can see the number of all the others there. I know those who are seeing 111 will start wondering, so I am the only one from maybe uh, credit analysis or from business intelligence and so on. We can go on and I can explain a lot of uh, these things. For example, a lot of business intelligence people feel they don't need Excel, they just need uh, SQL and then they need other applications that can do uh, big data stuff. But they forget that whatever they do, the output is most often coming into Excel and will be used in uh, Excel. You see that. Then you have project managers too who feel that, oh, I don't need Excel. But I'm very certain that the project manager we have in this training, if he has already come in, would know that there are a lot of things that project management uh, has to do with Microsoft Excel and it's very, very uh, important. So if all of these persons, don't look at them as the number of persons that come in, that have registered, look at it as the number of professions that feel Excel is important. If you have that in your mind, you quickly see that Excel is for everyone. And I can tell you that Excel, uh, housewives need it. Restaurant operators need it, retail traders need it, entrepreneurs, school administrators, building contractors, just name any of them. Everybody tends to need Excel. In fact, because of time, I, wasn't, I, I didn't bring that in. I can show you that even your kids need Excel. They can use Excel to learn plus, minus, divide. You get it. You can easily program Excel with Excel functions, not VBA, such that if he or she puts in the, the wrong answer, Excel will show a sign that it's wrong. And if he puts in the right answer, it shows in green that he, he or she got the answer. And by the time they start using this, you see them using Excel and uh, it, it's useful to them. Everyone needs it. You ask me why housewives need it, there are a lot of things that housewives need to manage with Excel. They need to manage forms, they need to you know, manage uh, items, they need to do a lot of tables, they need to build um, a, a food schedule for the week so that they can be able to use that to plan uh, feeding and all of that. They can use it for so, so many things. So that is why I said that Excel is for every everyone. Just go in, learn it, get the skills, and then use it for whatever you use it. So, here, I showed some of the functions that a basic user, a beginner user should have or know so that they would be able to carry out a, 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 a tax in Excel more quickly and uh, more efficiently.